The Blue Devils in the black and blue. And the Demon Deacons in the black and old gold. Plumley at center circle along with Thomas, and the ball is up. And Grayson Allen corrals it for Duke. People play him for a three-point shot, but he's developed the ability to put it on the floor. And Brandon Ingram has the answer. Boy, how do you stop that? Ingram, a 37% shooter from beyond the arc. Two for two. Now it's Allen on the breakaway. Step for step with Will begin. And he gets rid of the defender. Duke with a three-point lead. Allen goes away from the ball screen and scores outside the lane. Ten since returning. Thornton on the kick out from Plumley. Got it. Haven't seen it right now. Allen with the reverse layup. Kennard pump fakes his way inside the arc. And a two for the freshman. Ingram hangs and delivers. Count it. And a chance for a three-point play. The problem for Wake Forest lies. The inability to keep guys out of the paint. Thornton back on the floor with those two fouls. Spins it with the left. Oh, that's a beautiful touch. And he's just carried it over this year. Kennard fights off contact into the corner and turns it into two points. The spot that the good offensive rebounders do. Brandon Ingram had room. Now Miller McIntyre has it taken away. And Kennard gets the bucket. Scored in a lot of drop-offs. He's got 10. Collins playing tag with him right now, recognizing where he is, but he... Lumley may well be the most important player on the floor tonight for the Blue Devils. Kennard, and it's two touchdowns for Plumley. A big three-pointer for Grayson Allen. His guy's in foul trouble, and certainly he has, but it's really been Marshall Plumley. We're looking forward for Duke in this ACC competition. One of the things that I learned is that they may be young, but they certainly are savvy and they're resilient.